Well, hi there, pluggers. I have a small figure again with you. Thanks very much for joining me for another guitar lesson. This is a very interesting number from Paul McCartney called uh, Calico Skies, and it features a, a, quite a, a lovely little guitar orientated uh, rhythm riff. There's little mini chords all the way down the neck. It's very interesting and uh, fun to play. <laughs> um, now then, I will put a link in the description box to Paul McCartney playing this song by himself with an acoustic guitar so you can hear the whole song and how it's supposed to be played. <laughs> okay. Um, now I shall be just uh, in standard tuning and uh, no capos as you can see, okay? Uh, which is the same as uh, the version uh, that I've linked you to. I think he's in standard tuning as well, okay? Um, now I'm just going to play through a few of these uh, iconic uh, guitar progression riffs. And then I'll go into the chorus, and uh, then I'll go back into the small riffs, and then probably do another chorus, and then I'll go into the outro. Okay, um, so hopefully here we go. <laughs> get to it. Right, so um, what you need to do is the, the actual main riff of the song is Okay, it's all in sort of D sort of shapes and things. So it starts up on the 10th fret like a first three strings of an F shape. Okay, so double uh, bar on the 10th fret, 1st and 2nd strings, and 11th fret on the 3rd string. Open 4th string. Okay. Okay, so that's... Then you change it to an, a D shape on the 9th and 10th fret. So it's... down two frets to the seventh and eighth fret with a D shape along with the open fourth string open fourth string all the time okay so got that okay then we change it to that shape starting at the fifth fret first string seventh fret second string seventh fret third string again with the open fourth string so okay got that then we play the F shape again for a partial G chord bar the first two strings on the third fret fourth fret on the third string open fourth string again okay so so far we've got this normal D. Okay, got that? So that's the first half of it. Okay, so do that slowly. Okay, and then we go back up to where we were before, where we started. And if you can get the shape ready and slide it up to position, so you don't have to, but so after you come out of that, immediately change your shape to that and try and slide it up to the 10th fret for the next half of it. I'd just like to show you that slow motion, okay? Okay, so I'm doing it, I get my, as soon as I come out of the D, I'm making that shape, the F shape, first three fingers of the 
three, three strings of the F shape and, and then hitting it and sliding it up to the 10th fret. If not, just play the 10th fret, okay? So here we go, let's do that again slowly for you. Okay, so and just repeats that again, the same same three shapes to start with. Okay, so from the beginning so far. Okay, got that? And then it's the same shape again, the next shape is the same as it was before, except for one thing. You just hit it once, and then you put your pinky on the seventh fret of the first string. Okay. Okay, so so far then, from the beginning. And it's like a down with that and up. When you put your pinky on, come back up. Then go to the G shape again on the third fret that you had before to bar in the first two strings on the third fret, fourth on the third string, open fourth string as it was before, and then the D. Okay, and those are the two progressions you've got to do. Okay, so from the beginning slowly. Play it slowly and speed up, okay? So that's the that's the riff that's on the intro and also during the verse. That's really what he's singing over where he goes, it was written that I was love you. That's what he's playing underneath that, okay? And then you get to the uh, the actual chorus where it goes, I will hold you for as long as you like. Okay, so that's basically a D. So when it comes out of these the riff, um, so it comes out of the second riff, it goes. And it goes, so there's a little pause and then it goes, I. And basically it's a D, but you've got to have nice, it would be lovely if you could get that thumb over the second fret of the sixth string. Get that F sharp note. Okay. It's not essential, but it sounds good. And it's right. <laughs> okay, so. I and I will. And then on, that's, that's I. And when it goes will, you take your first, uh, your second finger off the first string. So open top string, first string now open, and that's on will. So I will, okay, I will. And then goes to a G, a full G with the, with the two fingers on the uh, third fret of the uh, second and first string, okay. Uh, and that's love you. Then take the pinky off. For you, so love you. Okay, so you've got I will love you. Got that? Then it goes to an A for the rest of my. Okay, so so far coming out of the the uh, the riff. Then it goes to a B minor, second bar, second bar, um, fret bar chord, sorry. And try and hit the B note, that second fret of the uh, fifth string. So, uh, sorry, it's, um, do it again. I will love you for the rest of your life. And then open it, take your bar off and hit the fifth string open. And then another strum. Okay, so it's I finger off that this comes off then. I will pick you off. You a 
to the rest of your B minor, open, okay, then to G again, love you, to A, da 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 D, then goes back into doing the riff again, okay. So the chorus from come out of the second part of the riff, again. Just for fun. <laughs> I will love you. Da 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 da. I will love you for the rest of my life. Okay. Right. So that's that. Uh, so and then it goes back into the the the, the rundown riff. Okay. So uh, and then he goes into another verse, blah blah blah. Okay, and the only difference really is um, it comes out uh, right at the end of the song on the last chorus. Here it goes. Doesn't, he plays an F sharp minor seventh there, or an A six. He bars all the four strings, first four strings, one, two, three, four, on the second fret, and does that sort of twice. So it goes um, last chorus. I will love you for the rest of my life. I will love you for the rest of my for the rest of my and then goes into the live and then the very last time is that so the first one is the same so the last one is that's bit the same and then you go that shape back to the G uh, the D shape on the 7th and 8th fret and then goes up to the this D shape on the ninth and tenth fret, and then to the first chord you play, the D with the open fourth string, F shape on the tenth fret. Okay, so I'll do that again. So I'll do the whole last chorus. Okay, so it's. So that's all the bits you need to play the song, okay? Just listen to the arrangement and you'll figure out what goes where, okay? Thanks very much for watching this and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.